June 13th, we're in Wales. This pilot had engine trouble, ended up trying to ditch it in the water and flipped over. And they were rescued by this lifeboat crew paged at 9.22 a.m. They came in and they actually have footage of them saving uh, this biplane. There was a sole pilot on board. I believe the pilot is here on shore being taken care of. Coast Guard responded, fire responded, and this Royal National uh, lifeboat crew came in as well. And they had to check out, you know, is there any more people on this aircraft? Um, Is there any kind of fuel spills? You know, is there any type of things they need to contain as far as environmental? And then also getting the aircraft off the beach. So here you can see they are working on it. Luckily, there is no waves, any kind of danger that they need to worry about. Pretty shallow. But I'm sure these people are very good in the water. But this is their website, the Royal National uh, Lifeboat Institution. And here you can see they've been around for a very long time. All volunteers, very close to where the, the crash was. Here's the video where I got that from. But again, if you wanted to volunteer, you could go to this website and see if they have any openings here in Wales. But here is where that aircraft ended up, Porth Call. If any of you have been here, it looks like a pretty, uh, pretty nice area. And then this is the aircraft I wanted to talk about. So it's a Murphy Renegade Spirit built in 1992. It's a biplane. And this is the exact aircraft. Just got lucky. I found I found it here. Golf Mike Whiskey November Foxshot was a tail number. And let's learn more about this aircraft. Remember the Renegade? The grandfather of all of Daryl Murphy's designs, the Renegade still enjoys popularity among builders who lust for a fun-flying, rugged little biplane in which to explore the sky. And now there's a bunch of Renegades out there, with more being built all the time. But if your choices include owning an airplane registered as experimental or amateur built, your engine choices include the higher output Rotax 582 and 912 series for the stylish Renegade Spirit. Like the Rebel series, the square tube fuselage is easily assembled on a level table without requiring jigs or special tools. Stamped aluminum ribs and aluminum sheet leading edges give a firm, smooth shape to the wing. Coupled with the interplane eye struts and stainless steel flying wires, the resulting wing structures are incredibly strong and rigid. In fact, the Renegade airframes are so strong that both have a published and verified ultimate solo load rating of 10 positive and to 6 negative Gs. But where the Renegade really shines brightest is where you'd expect to find it, in the air. Here's the creator of that aircraft, Daryl Murphy, got his start in late 1970s, designing and building a rigid wing hang glider, ended up designing a single seat biplane, first flew in 1984, founded the Murphy aircraft in 1985, and over the years he did design that uh, Renegade biplane, which we saw, and then the All Aluminum Rebel, the Maverick, the Elite, and the Sturdy Moose uh, bush plane. So thank you, Daryl. For your contribution to aviation, he was put into the Home Builders Hall of Fame in the Experimental Aircraft Association in 2018. But back on the scene, we have everybody wrapping things up. Fire, police are all um, on shore here. We have that aircraft finally out of the water onto the beach. They are taking off the wings. They stack those wings up and they push the aircraft out and they got it where it can be inspected by investigators and look to see what happened with that engine but again here's the scene fires on scene there's the plane out there and then some key facts about the royal national lifeboat institution it's a charity that saves lives at sea the volunteers provide 24 hour search and rescue service around united kingdom and the republic of ireland coasts 238 lifeboats 240 lifeguard units on the beaches and uh, basically it's founded in 1824 and saved over 142,700 lives. So I hope you found this interesting. Please subscribe to the channel to support. And I'll keep finding these news from around the world. If not, this is Arfalam Kioni. I'll see you guys next time.